is me again, a Sergeant Pepper back with some more a Dyson Sphere. So, here in this video, we are going to cover hydrogen. I've been getting a, a lot of questions lately. The heck are you doing with all your hydrogen? And uh, it's actually a problem that we've been uh, struggle bussing with for a long, long time. I recently ish, yesterday, day before, set up a uh, couple of fixes in our system and they seem to be working rather lovely, so this is not necessarily a guarantee 100% fix, but hopefully set you a little bit more on track to uh, having your hydrogen dealt with. Oh, hydrogen, man. You start dealing with it when you start doing oil, and, well, you never stop, man. You never stop. It just gets worse and worse and worse as the game goes on. So we are going to cover real quick the sources of hydrogen and the consumption of hydrogen okay so here we go sources of hydrogen so there's a couple of uh, what I consider to be mandatory sources of hydrogen uh, the first one as I mentioned basic oil refining so basic oil refining you're gonna take that crude oil and you are gonna be making it into the refined oil however as a byproduct you are getting hydrogen this is unavoidable you need to deal with this hydrogen you then have x-ray cracking which also does make more hydrogen as it takes the input of two hydrogen you can see in the list of recipes here yeah so the the cracking recipe is the the third one the second to last there and you can see it takes two hydrogen one refined oil makes one graphite and three hydrogen so you're actually making a, an extra hydrogen with this recipe so but this is not essential. So you're making extra hydrogen with that, but you don't you don't need to. So if you're having hydrogen problems, you probably don't want to do that. <laughs> um your next big big source of hydrogen. So this is another kind of optional but kind of necessary uh hydrogen producer is graphene made with fire ice. Now this to me is essential making graphene the other way is uh no no good no good in fact uh something i've never really touched on in one of these videos but it might make a video touching on is uh, alternate recipes and how you have to use them <laughs> so uh yeah yeah byproduct hydrogen from the alternate graphene it's a lot and you need to deal with it the last and probably to be one of the most significant sources of hydrogen, antimatter. It's not too bad yet, but as this scales up, we are producing a ton of hydrogen. So it's 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 gonna get scurry. It's gonna get scurry fast. So those are the sources of hydrogen, the mandatory sources of hydrogen. Now let's talk about consumption. So you've got all this hydrogen. What are you gonna do with it? Well. Funny enough, one of my biggest, favoritest consumers of hydrogen are these bad boys right here, Casimir Crystals. Oh boy, howdy. They use a lot of hydrogen. So whenever you get to making these guys, you are gonna be uh, all the hydrogen, man. All the hydrogen. It is glorious, fantastic, and amazing. That, that consumes a ton right there. So that that's priority number one, right? All the hydrogen that we have, all the hydrogen that we make. It's first goal, bam, right into the Casimir crystals. So what do we do with the leftovers? We obviously have leftovers, always having leftovers. Basically, we got a whole bunch of splitters here set up with priority. So after the two Casimir crystal lanes are full and filled and fed, uh, the extra goes off into the logistics tower. That logistics tower then feeds the system. Ooh, yeah, I forgot of one big uh, consumer of hydrogen, and perhaps um, the, the the so so Casimir crystals is is first sort of, but uh, what's really first is the science, the red science, I believe it is, right? Because you need you need your your hydrogen for your red science. So so technically, red science is the first, then Casimir crystals. Always science first, right? Whenever we're talking about a resource. That has an application in the in the matrices that is always the first place it goes and then second casimir crystals and then 
third is where it comes to here. So third priority for the hydrogen is to be fractionated. We fractionate that hydrogen to make deuterium. We use the deuterium for deuterium fuel rods. This powers our satellite bases at other stars that have no Dyson access. Uh, this powers the launch rockets. We used to use it to power our suit. Uh, we use lots of deuterium for um, strange matter in the particle collider. Uh, deuterium is very rare to get anywhere else outside of uh, particle colliding hydrogen or fractionating hydrogen. So you can technically... Um, so fractionation is the best. It's difficult to do, but it's the best ratio one to one. You then have the deuterium recipe itself, which is made in the particle collider, I believe. Right? I think so. Um, yeah, particle collider. And you can do that for a two to one. So two hydrogen, one deuterium. Honestly, user preference, you'll never run out of hydrogen. So whatever you want to do. Um, particle colliding is less efficient hydrogen wise, but a lot easier to build. Fractionation is better hydrogen wise, but harder to build. So then, um, as you can see, we have a big stockpile of deuterium. Not much hydrogen's going through here. So what do we do with the last of the last of the last? Well, we throw it simply just to be burned. These are just thermal power stations. We've got a good few of them here. Uh, probably not going to expand it anymore. This was a bit of a test. Um, we, we burn off quite a bit of hydrogen here. Quite a bit of hydrogen. Um, not nearly enough compared to what we have. Um... But enough so that we never jam up our line, right? You'll notice here, this is all jammed up. That's full. This is full. It's pretty scary, right? So that's okay, though. That's okay. So we are pulling hydrogen from a gas giant as well. It's funny. You'll have way too much hydrogen and then not enough. So we don't want so much hydrogen that our byproducts back up and stop the production of our oil or antimatter or um, graphene, but we don't want to run out of hydrogen so we don't have enough for our Casimir crystals or deuterium, et cetera, et cetera, right? So it's a weird issue of supply and demand, both of them exceeding each other, depending on various factors. So, so we have a system in place that allows all of the byproduct hydrogen first dibs. So you can see that the byproduct hydrogen, its lines are all running clear, right? So this is all from the graphene, and this is all from the oil and the cracking. So that's all of what we produce, and it all goes science first. Continues on for Casimir crystals. Uh, this is where it meets up with the antimatter hydrogen. And then it all goes into Casimir crystals under priority. And then into this tower under priority too. We then have the extra from the gas giant to fill in the blanks. Because when these Casimir crystals get pumped and both these lines are going full steam ahead, it is, it is a lot of hydrogen. And we are not producing enough hydrogen to actually effectively deal with that, right? So um, we needed to bring in some more to do that. But so long as um, this doesn't jam up, then the system works perfectly, so. That's hydrogen. I know it's confusing. I confused myself, but hopefully that helps somebody. Uh, if you guys do have any further questions if you'd like a closer look at uh fractionators and stuff like that or anything else i may have missed always feel free guys love trying to help anybody out with this stuff as i can uh spent lots and lots and lots of time playing this game streaming this game and uh figuring all this stuff out with the help of some very lovely people so i'd love to try to share that information and spread that knowledge uh thanks for watching like, comment, subscribe, guys, and I'll see you for the next video.